Hello, and welcome back to Amateur Surgeon, where in the moment you give me a puzzle, I have zero ideas what to do, and something that wasn't even really a puzzle. I would have started on the operation itself, but then I read up this. Open him up and find a way to defuse the situation, and we're going to be seeing guts everywhere we look. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, Alan. But... It was actually as simple as I was making it, it was the fact that I was grabbing them in the wrong location. So, middle, outer left, outer right, inner left, inner right. Now, what I need to do is grab about in the middle, instead of the tip, because that makes sense, I guess. I mean, I'd expect to grab from the tip, because that's what you'd actually do in real life, is try and grab from the tip when it's covered. And what you do after is just burn the fuses, and then it's done with. Just like that. <laughs> A bomb? Oh, yes, you said it nearly blew it up. Yes, but don't touch it. You didn't quite manage to defuse it completely. You've done it again, have you? To fix some worthless low-life criminal? You, you was at the junkyard. You tried to kill me. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. Lady, I'm not saying your name, but it's horrible. What? Do you, how do you know my name? Who are you? You don't recognize me, child? Well, maybe that's understandable. I am somewhat gone to ruin. I am the man you're looking for. I was the surgeon who operated on your parents. I'm sorry they died. I understand you mean to take your vengeance. I must admit, I have thought about that thing myself. In fact, not too long ago, I deliberately stepped out in front of a pizza van. If it weren't for this extraordinary young man here, well, Dr. Bleed? Yes. Oh, doctor. I thought, but it's not you I'm looking for. It's him. Who? Bonjour. Murderer! Dwayne! Dwayne? Ah, my dear sweet mentor, Dr. Bleed. I would ask how you are after all these years, but I can see for myself, you are disgusting. You were the doc's old student? You're Dwayne Pipe? Yes, that's his name, because reasons. <laughs> uh, you said your name was Horus. I've been hiding in the jungle since this insane little witch started hunting me down. When I came back, do you really think I'd use my real horrible name? It is quite horrible. You animal! This bomb wasn't meant for you, but... No, that bomb isn't fully diffused. Don't! Well... Quickly, let's operate on her while there's a... There's a madman. So I need to purposely wait for those things to bleed. Because that's the only way I can put this out. There we go. Well... I'm not going to say anything. I know. At least one person is thinking what I think they're thinking, but I'm not going to stoop that low. I'm really going to mention it for everybody to notice. Oh goody! There's even more. Let's actually use the correct item, yes? And then pan away. And then let's give her an injection because she kind of needs it. One over here. And one over here. What? Chainsaw? Fire. Oh goody. Oh goody. Yeah, 
yeah, I, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I, because I didn't know what to do to those beforehand, and now that I know what they do, I am just going to restart. Well, this is already a very fun operation, wouldn't you say? I'd say. See, I... I don't have anything to put the fire out with. There we go. Sheesh. Not often you actually get something that includes fire in this in this game, now that I've thought about it. Really, the vacuum has been for more for sucking up poison than it has been for putting out fires. Which is probably a good thing, but... Also, did you notice that those things instantly took out 10 points of her heart rate the moment they happened? Yeah. Let's suck up a bug if we're gonna need it, and dive right in. And put these out immediately. I'm paying away them immediately. And cut these right out. Now, pull this out and seal these up. Okay. Well, now it is going much better, although she's going to drop to 25 when I do the next one. I think we can do with it. Here we go. Once again, pull this out. Seal these up. Well, I must say, although you don't know what to do in the beginning, it's actually. Oh, I didn't get to suck stuff up. Well, I hope that I don't end up needing that in the inevitable next section because I highly. Actually, having said that, no, I was gonna say, well, look, there actually is a low. a lack of time. Really? See, that was Alan screaming and he realized that he messed up because this is a lady. Come on. Now, I need at least one more injection because there's inevitably going to be at least two things in here. Eh. Yep, there's one here and one about here. Put it out. Seal it up. I said... This far into the game, I still select the wrong items. I'm like, okay, I need to get that thing out. But I want a staple first, so I go to staple and then... Oops. I don't have the time for injections. I care not for your injection requirements. Right, let's go. Seal this up. Seal this up. Seal this up. And then I get to paint a layer, which keeps her stable. Beep, beep. Edge is there. And there. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic. Next, his bleed himself. Oh boy. But I think, as the last episode was only 13 minutes as me having to figure out junk, I'm going to leave it off here and put these two episodes together. But that is for next time. Till then, see you later.